No, in Spotify because it's really popular. You know, it's a, it's a very popular thing, and it's, uh, I want to try something different than just regular outlets. Yeah, I mean, everybody has Spotify nowadays. When I started DJing, like professionally, like uh, mid twenties, I believe, well, you can even compare. It's so different. But uh, yeah, everything has changed. I mean, I, I started playing with the cassette uh, tape and really cutting the tape really? to mix uh, tracks together. Yeah, back in the days, you had to be up at uh, Friday morning at uh, 10, you had to be in the record store because then the new records came in. And there was only one or two available per release. Now you can just go online and find whatever you want. So it's, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's changed the, the style of DJing completely. It's definitely the way of the future. And, uh, the, the, and there's so much more opportunities for everybody to, to, to get themselves known. Back in the days, the, basically the radio stations and the record companies decided who was going to be big. And now you can just put something on, on YouTube and uh, you become famous for just putting the video out there. So. Well, I, what really helped me a lot was I was working in a record store. So that's, and that's where I met a lot of DJs and a lot of promoters. You couldn't, to get your name out there was, was uh, not that easy. You have to do a lot of gigs. Sometimes I did five, six gigs a night. It's just getting bigger and bigger. And I think we still have a lot of uh, things to grow because mm -hmm. we don't have many crossover top 40 hits. So it's still very underground, I think. And it's, uh, but it's an amazing scene. I mean, we have a lot of hits online and people, talk, people know the songs, but it's just not, not uh, charging. It's, a, it's our own uh, culture, it's, it's our own little world. Yeah. I think you can compare it with, with the country world or the jazz world or the hip hop mm -hmm. world. If you're not into that world or you're not into that music, you don't really know things about it. But if you're really into it, you know all the DJs, you know all the best clubs around the world, the best festivals. So Las Vegas is, I've been coming here for 10 years and I always thought like, it's never going to happen here, you know. And now it's here. Every club in Every casino has a house club and uh, everybody plays EDM and it's amazing to see. It's really, really happy that I'm uh, part of that. Yeah, I think Las Vegas is the, is the new Ibiza. In Europe you have Ibiza and that's where all the DJs used to DJ and the best parties were there and everybody traveled to Ibiza to see the DJs. But now you see trending like everybody's coming to Vegas and the, the, the trips, the tickets are getting cheaper as well to fly to Vegas from Europe. And uh, you can't compare it to New York or, or Miami because they're, they're more like a, a re uh, regular scene with in Las Vegas every week there's millions of people coming and going so it's uh, these play for a whole new crowd every week. <laughs>